Beaver Dam. Beaver Dam. It has been the lights out moment for countless religions and cults. A leader announces he has superpowers and promises on such and such a date to prove it. Day arrives, nothing happens, leader escapes to Nutley, New Jersey. Our third story in the countdown, while Paramount Pictures wonders if it can overcome Tom Cruise's adherence to Scientology at the box office, The Faith is set to open up its own super center where believers can hone their superpowers in beautiful downtown Clearwater, Florida. The 57 Perceptics, described by founder L. Ron Hubbard, will be brought out by use of machines including an anti-gravity simulator and something with a gyroscope. So Mr. Cruz has a place to improve his gravity, his compass direction, and especially the saline content of self. While you check yours, Dateline's Hoda Kotb got to sit down with former and current members of the group to talk about the number one face of the Church of Scientology. Many celebrities swear by Scientology. There's John, Juliet, Jenna, and Jason, Kirsty, Leah, and Sophia. Not the king, but his wife and daughter, Beck and Bart. Is this a book report or a witch hunt? Well, the actress doing his voice. And it is no coincidence. We were put under incredible duress, actually, to recruit celebrities. In my mission to find out if Cruz is in control or out of control, I met former Scientologist Karen Presley. She says she used to work full time time at the church's exclusive celebrity center in Hollywood. Her job, she says, recruiting the stars. Was there a list? Actually, there was. Young actors that were really um, making it in film at the time, I think, were our biggest priorities. I feel the need, the need Tom Cruise was exactly that. It was 1985, and he was filming Top Gun. He says the church helped cure him of a learning disability. And in recent years, he's out to fix the rest of us, or at least his co-workers. You know, you have to understand in Hollywood, when people need help, they call me. When they're having trouble with something, they call me. Uh, because they know that I'm the type of person that they can depend on. But could Hollywood studios depend on Cruz? Or had his private life blown up his public appeal? Our mission to learn more about him takes us into one of the most personal rituals of Scientology. Clutching these metal rods connected to this machine called an e-meter, Scientologists undergo intense spiritual counseling meant to clear their minds of past traumas and self-defeating behavior. The person drawing it out of them is called an auditor. You've audited, what, dozens of people, hundreds of people? Maybe a thousand. Bruce Hines says he spent 30 years in the church and was an auditor to the stars. He says he sat with them, drawing out their fears, secrets, past indiscretions, and he wrote everything down. When I was auditing celebrities, I would have to write daily how did it go and what was happening with this person and how are they doing and this report would go to people very high up in the organization they, they keep tabs on it are there things in those folders or secrets in there that might change one's opinion of the celebrity definitely better or worse worse he would not reveal what he learned from the stars, but he told us in 2000 he was sent to audit Cruz's then-wife, Nicole Kidman, and find out if and why she was losing interest in Scientology. How concerned were the leaders in Scientology that Nicole Kidman wasn't really, you know, showing enough interest in the church? Fairly concerned, um, as evidenced by the fact that they sent me down there. Why do you think Nicole ultimately left Scientology? She felt it wasn't for her. You know, it wasn't what she wanted to do in life. Do you think she could have remained Mrs. Tom Cruise and not be a Scientologist? In my opinion, no. Their view of life would be so uh, at odds with each other. I don't think that they could have a very meaningful relationship. Mm -hmm. So with Katie, it was court and convert. Are you a Scientologist? Have you looked into it yourself? I have looked into it myself, and I really like it, and uh, I think it's really wonderful. Have you gone, have you tried any sessions at all or any auditing yeah. or anything like that? Yeah, and it's, uh, it's really, uh, I feel like I'm bettering myself. 
as she joins the A-list cast of Scientology. My mission was to delve into the world of the church's leading man. I sat down with one of the highest ranking members of the Church of Scientology. Mike Rinder rarely talks publicly about his most famous yeah, church I'm, member. I, I've known Tom for uh, 15 years. Mm -hmm. I consider him a friend. Do you think he's a good uh, spokesperson for Scientology? I think he's a very good representation of what a Scientologist is. I think he's uh, obviously successful. He's uh, obviously very happy. He does a lot to help other people. Mm -hmm. He uh, lives a, an ethical life. But last year, the star was orbiting far from planet Hollywood into the galaxies of Scientology. Many wondered, did he wander off too far? Does the church ever call Tom Cruise and say, you know what, pull back the reins a little? No, I don't think anybody in the world calls Tom Cruise and tells him to pull back the reins. <laughs> But Tom Cruise and other celebrities do promote Scientology's agenda. Does the church actively recruit celebrities? No, no. The church is open to anybody. No one specifically told, we'd like to get more celebrities because celebrities sort of up the profile of Scientology. We have a list of celebrities. None of Hoda, that. absolutely not. Uh, absolutely not. Maybe not, but how many religions have a designated celebrity center? And he confirms that the church keeps confidential files on celebrities and other members of the church who undergo auditing. So what happens, my question is, what happens to those notes, those they're, files? They're locked in, a, in file cabinets in locked rooms. Never to be opened. Never. Only the auditor. They're, they're for the auditor. They're not for anybody else. The church says former auditor Bruce Hines never met with Nicole Kidman and should not discuss his work for the church. The church goes on to dispute both his and Karen Presley's statements that and questions their motives. Just because someone says something, particularly a former someone who is, uh, you know, seeking to get, have their minute of fame by making statements that sound sensational. That doesn't make it true. One thing is for sure, Tom Cruise's behavior over the last year has raised the profile of Scientology. The question is, for better or worse? Do you consider Tom Cruise the church's biggest asset or liability? Oh, come on. <laughs> is that a joke question? It's a question. Asset or liability? Tom Cruise is the biggest movie star in the world, and Tom Cruise is a Scientologist. But will Cruise...